A lot of people are really upset by this program and concerned about it, including a woman who's actually sent us several photos of people passed out at park and rides like this one and bus stops next to needles. The mayor is also concerned about this program. That's why he handed me this, a stack of letters between him and Public Health of Seattle and King County, who is behind the program. So I do want to warn you before we show you some of these photos, they might be hard to look at. And just to be clear, each of the individuals in these photos they were breathing according to the woman who took those photos. So I do want to show you those photos now from Carolyn Hoover. She is a resident in Federal Way. She's been living in Federal Way, Federal Way for over 60 years, and she says this is the worst she has seen the bus stops. Hoover says she stopped riding public transportation because she no longer feels safe, but she is often picking up friends or family members at the bus stops. She remembers a specific time out with her grandkids as they passed two men who she says were clearly on drugs and passed out on the curb. She says her grandkids were confused. They just looked at me like, you know, what? what's wrong? You know, I just felt terrible. I mean, it's all coming back. I feel awful. We don't have the authority as a city to stop this program. What we are working on doing is seeing where mitigation can be made with regard to the number of needles that are given out. So the program was paused for a short time, a request from the mayor to public health, but it has since started up again. The mayor says he's also trying to make sure the county does a better job of cleanup since so many needles have been found around the city. Public Health of Seattle and King County sent us a statement which says syringe service programs are proven ways to prevent the spread of HIV and other bloodborne illnesses. It goes on to say the program is provided to people by appointment and that the program provides containers for safe disposal. Now for homeless individuals seeking needles, that exchange happens at park and rides like this one in Federal Way. The mayor says in talking with residents who are really upset about this program, he thinks he would likely have support to ban a program like this, but the city just does not have the authority to do so. Live here in Federal Way, Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News.